when we multiply by 10, we move one place value to the left. So with 3 times 10, we move the 3 one place to the left, so it's moved from the units to the tens column, and then if we have empty place value columns before the decimal point, we write a zero. So 3 times 10 is 30, and we do the same thing with 68 times 10. We move the digits one place value to the left, write a zero in our empty units column, and that gives us our answer 680. And it's important to recognise what we're doing here. We're moving digits to the left, we're not just writing a zero at the end of the number. This is important because writing a zero at the end of a decimal number doesn't change the number. So let's think about 0 0.2 times 10. We can't just write a 0 at the end because 0 0.20 is the same as 0 0.2. Instead, let's move the digits one place to value to the left. So now we have 0 tens and 2 units, but we can ignore our 0 tens, so our answer is 2. To make sure that we understand this, let's show what we're doing with 0 0.2 times 10. We know that multiplication is repeated addition, so let's add 0 0.2 10 times. So there's 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1 whole, 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8, and now with 10 times we have two holes. So that's why 0 0.2 times 10 is 2. So what's 0 0.8 times 10? Again, we move the digits one place to the left. We can ignore zeros to the left of a whole number, so our answer is 8. And let's show this in a different way. So here we have 0 0.8, 8 tenths. Let's split up these 8 tenths, 1 tenth in each rectangle. And now it's easy to see that if we colour 10 times as much, we've coloured 8 full rectangles. So 0 0.8 times 10 is 8. What is 1.6 times 10? Sixteen. What is 60.1 times 10? 601. Now we have 0 0.05 times 10. So let's move the digits to the left. We can ignore this zero in our tens column, but if there's a zero in the units column, we always keep it, we always still write the zero, so we have 0 0.5. Now let's show that 0 0.05 times 10 is 0 0.5. So here, 0 0.05 or 5 hundredths of the large rectangle is shaded. If we times by 10, we now have 50 hundredths shaded. And 50 hundredths is the same as 5 tenths, which is 0 0.5. What is 0 0.09 times 10? 0 0.9. And we can show 0 0.09 times 10, because here we have 9 hundredths, 9 parts out of 100, coloured. If we times by 10, we have 90 hundredths coloured. And 90 hundredths is the same as 9 tenths, which is 0 0.9. What is 0 0.34 times 10? 
3.4. And finally, what is 5.06 times 10? 